بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ٹوڈے آن فورٹینتھ سپٹمبر ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی ون ایف پی ایس سی فیڈرل پبلک سروس کمیشن ٹوک این امپورٹنٹ اینڈ ٹیکنیکل ریٹن ٹیسٹ فار دا پوسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹیکل آفیسر اینڈ ود آؤٹ اینی ایگزیجریشن اینڈ ایلوسیڈیشن ہنڈریڈ آف اسٹوڈنٹس فرام آل اوور دا پاکستان اپیئرڈ ان ڈیٹ ریٹن ٹیسٹ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس میری مینی امپورٹنٹ اینڈ ٹیکنیکل امپورٹنٹ کوشچنس آف ڈیٹ ٹیسٹ ود یو پیپل بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈیز امپورٹنٹ اینڈ وائٹل لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنس آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ کوشچن نمبر ون از ہسٹوری گرام از دا گراف آف دا کریکٹ آپشن از ٹائم سیریز ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ول ڈسکس ون مور امپورٹنٹ کانسیپٹ ود یو پیپل گراف آف دا ٹائم سیریز از کالڈ ہسٹوری گرام اینڈ گراف آف دا فریکوینسی ڈسٹریبیوشن از کالڈ ہسٹو گرام پلیز کیپ ان مائنڈ آئی اشور یو اف یو لرن آل دیز کوشچن یو کین پاس ایوری ریٹن ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس کوشچن نمبر ٹو آف ٹو ڈیز پیپر از ہاؤ مینی فیزز آف سائیکل آر دیر آر فور فیزز آف سائیکل دا فرسٹ ون از پروسپیرٹی دین دا پیریڈ اور سائیکل آف کانٹریکشن دین دا پیریڈ اور سائیکل آف ریسیشن اور ڈپریشن دین دیر از ریکوری دیر آر فور سائیکلز آف فور فیزز آف سائیکل کوشچن نمبر تھری دا ورڈ موومنٹ ریفر ان ٹائم سیریز دا کریکٹ آپشن از کمپوننٹس نمبر فور ٹائم سیریز ڈیٹا از کالڈ پیریوڈک ڈیٹا پیریوڈک ڈیٹا از دا کریکٹ آپشن کوشچن نمبر فائیو اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ون ڈیٹا اکارڈنگ ٹو سم ڈیفینیٹ آرڈر از آرڈینل ڈیٹا اف آئی ول گیو دا ایگزامپل آف دا سائز آف دا شرٹس دیر از اے اسمال سائز میڈیم سائز لارج سائز ایکسل سائز وین دا ڈیٹا از ارینجڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو سم ڈیفینیٹ آرڈر ڈیٹ از کالڈ آرڈینل ڈیٹا کوشچن نمبر سکس Which measure of dispersion is used for the comparison? A very important one. Coefficient of variation. CV is the correct option. Dear students, if you have two data sets, one is given in kilograms, the second one is given in rupees. When, whenever we want to compare two different data sets, the two units are different and we want to compare them, which ڈیٹا سیٹ ہیز دا لیس ویریشن دین کوفیشنٹ آف ویریشن از یوزڈ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کانسیپٹ کوشچن نمبر سیون وچ میجر آف ڈسپرشن از دا بیسٹ ون اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشن از دا کریکٹ آپشن کوشچن نمبر ایٹ اسٹینڈرڈ ڈیویشن از انڈیپینڈنٹ آف اوریجن پلیز کیپ ان مائنڈ آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ مینی ٹائمز If you add or subtract the values from all the values of the data set, standard deviation and variance are not affected. They are independent of origin. For example, if I say standard deviation of x plus 5, that will be standard deviation of x plus 0. That will not affect the standard deviation. If you add or subtract, standard deviation is not affected. Question number 8. نائن موسٹ فریکوینٹ ویلیو آف دا ڈیٹا سیٹ از کالڈ موڈ از اے کریکٹ آپشن موسٹ ریپیٹیڈ ویلیو موسٹ فریکوینٹ ویلیو از موڈ اف یو ہیو کلرز ریڈ گرین یلو اینڈ پنک پنک از ریپیٹیڈ مینی ٹائمز موسٹ آف دا ٹائمز دین موڈ از پنک کوشچن نمبر ٹین اے ویری امپورٹنٹ کوشچن ان دا کیس آف شو سائزز آف چلڈرن سائز نمبر فائیو سائز نمبر سکس سیون ایٹ دین Which is the best measure of dispersion? Mode is the best one. Question number 11. The variance of the data set. Some values are given in the exam. That is question number 11. 3, 6, 8, 0 and 2. We know the formula summation x square over n minus summation x over n whole square. That will be 4 plus 64 plus 36 plus 9 and that is 113 over 5. because there are five values minus 19 over 5 whole square and the answer will be 
8.16 will be the correct option in the exam question number 12 a very important question if variance of x that is given it is 9 variance of y it is given 16 then what is standard deviation of x plus y and it is given if x and y are two independent variables then what will be the formula of the standard deviation of x plus y please keep in mind for all the next papers also that will be under the root variance of x plus that will be under the root variance of x plus variance of y dear students when x and y are independent of each other then there is no concept of covariance covariance will be zero between them now what will be the values 9 plus 16 under the root that will be 5 will be the correct option in the exam question number 13 fisher ideal fisher index number is called fisher ideal index number because it satisfies the option is both time reversal test as well as factor reversal test question number 14 which index number satisfies very important question that is question number 14 which index number satisfies time reversal test and we have done we have learned it it is satisfied by Fisher as well as Marshall it means both will be the correct option in the exam question number 15 if sample size increases the estimator becomes consistent estimator is the correct option we have learned when n approaches to infinity the estimator becomes the consistent estimator question number 16 probability distribution of all samples is called sampling distribution is the correct option question number 17 central limit theorem states that what is the meaning of the central limit theorem when we increase the sample size then the sampling distribution becomes the normal distribution that is the theme that is the property of the central limit theorem the correct option is when we increase the sample size the sampling distribution becomes the normal distribution question number 18 selection of all elements in a set is called it is population and what is the sample if we select one part of the population with the belief that it represents the whole population that is a sample and if i select all the students of the class that is a population when we select all the elements of the set it is called population question number 19 which is not the type of measure of dispersion very important one a interquartile range incorrect b standard deviation incorrect c range incorrect d none of these none of these is the correct option in the exam question number 20 is very important numerical question for you movements about 25 are m1 prime is given that is 1 m2 prime is given that is 26 and the question is find variance is 26 and the question is find variance and we know dear students please keep in mind variance is equal to m2 and what is the formula of m2 m2 is equal to m2 prime minus m1 prime whole square that is 26 minus 1 square 25 will be the correct option in the exam question number 21 from index numbers topic which is the most suitable average for chain based method when we we are to calculate link relatives geometric mean is the best is the most suitable measure of dispersion question number 22 and that question i have discussed in my last lecture in the last solved paper i think last or the previous one for consumer price index number from where we take the data we collect the data we collect the information all the values from the retailers retailers is the correct option in the exam question number 23 which formula is used in consumer price index numbers option a is less peers b pastures c value index number a is the correct option whenever we have to calculate cpi we take less peers index number question number 24 a very important from the topic of time series fire in a factory is an example of seasonal variation incorrect cyclical incorrect irregular is the correct one 
इफ यू से डैट देर इज अ फायर इन अ फैक्ट्री और अर्थ क्वेक और अ फ्लड ऑल दीज आर द चांसिस ऑफ देर आर द एक्चुअली दीज डू नॉट अकर रैंडमली एक्चुअली रेगुलरली वेन वी हैव द इरेगुलर मूवमेंट्स इरेगुलर वेरिएशन दीज ऑल आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इरेगुलर वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव मीन इज इक्वल टू दैट इज द क्वेश्चन मीन इज इक्वल टू ऑप्शन आर ए मीडियन इनकोरेक्ट बी मोड इनकोरेक्ट सी पी फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स परसेंट टाइल इनकोरेक्ट डी इज नन ऑफ दीज इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन इज नॉट स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन कैन नेवर एवर बी नेगेटिव नेगेटिव इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन मैयर ऑफ डिस्पर्शन विच इज द मैयर ऑफ डिस्पर्शन ए इज मीडियन B is mode. These two are the measures of central tendency. C is interquartile range. That is the correct option. Question number twenty-eight. Data based on one single time period is called a time series data, pooled data, cross-sectional data. Cross-sectional data is the correct option. Question number twenty-nine is very important one. Given the two regression coefficient x and y. If b y x it is positive one, and x and y. If b y x it is positive one, and b x y it is negative one. Then find r. Dear students, I have discussed in my lectures in the last lecture. You can see, you can watch all the lectures. Whenever you are to find r, the sign of all these must be same. If these two have the same sign positive, then R will also be positive. If these two are negative, R will also be negative. And the options are: the correct option is not possible. Why it is not possible? Because if I will to I will have to find the R b y x multiply b x y under the root and plus multiply by minus that will be minus and under root of minus is. impossible that is not possible and for the next papers please keep in mind b y x b x y and r all these three have same sign question number 30 coefficient of determination it means r square is positive is the correct option question number 31 if coefficient of correlation is positive then the slope of regression line is i have discussed it is also positive if r is negative b will also be negative question number 32 which is the last question of today's lecture base year weighted is used in correct option is lespierre's index numbers assalam alaikum